Hi, I'm back with the second part of learning together the Figma Make in our series of Uncut AI Learning, where we learn together about what AI can do and cannot for us designers. In previous episode, I tried to use Figma Make as a tool to help me prototyping, and I like this the most. When I tried to utilize it to make it more like a design approach, especially using the design system, I think it just fell because it was a little bit too complex of the interface of the task. So my plan for today is that let's start with the design first, actually. So we'll go to Figma and make a very simple screen and then see what Figma Make can do with that. Then we will try a little bit more of the complicated screen because I'm still like, I think that whatever we had in previous episodes, Episode, I think we can make Figma still work with it better, even though it's a complicated interface to make a better design, visual design. Then we will try a triple shot. Let's see what Figma Make can do with that. And then at the end, it's going to be a surprise. We will try something super different. I just want to test out what this AI can do and what not, and how crazy we can be in our prompting. Let's start with a simple thing is just creating a simple design. And I will be using the same Radix themes design system just to keep the experiment as close to whatever we had in the previous episode. For a simple screen, I think what I will do, because I'm lazy to be honest, let's go to Figma Make and ask it to make a very simple design. And then we will do it in design file using the Radix themes design system. I have an idea. I will ask it, create a tool where I can add my name, add my picture, and then answer what is my favorite color and song. I want it to be like a textbook coded back to 2000s. Do you remember when we used to have these notebooks and we would pass it to all our classmates to give the answer? And then if you would have a colorful pants, you would be considered cool. Let's see what it creates. So here's what it's created. And let's take a look. I like how it says my personal page. Welcome to my profile, film the form below. I can add my name. So actually let's do just that. I can add my picture and I will just add my most generic picture. Okay. My favorite song, I think it's the Subway currently by Chapel Rowan. So Subway and my favorite color, let's pick orange here. Created with love in 2025, but it looks like 2000s. I'm submitting it. The profile is complete. Yeah, I like this actually. Okay, let's go back. I will copy this design to Figma. It's actually a very new feature. Previously, whatever you created with Figma Make would not be transferred to Figma, unfortunately. Copy the design. What I will do right now is that I will recreate the same thing that is just created, but using the Radix Themes design system. I think the only thing I can do is just copy the file as a picture and we'll go back to Figma Make. Now I will just simply add the picture and add new info, considering that we already have quite a lot of information on the screen itself. Please make a prototype, make it fun. Yes, I said it. That's as far as we're gonna go in this episode. So let's see what I can do with the receiving the picture of the design. What I like is that when it's loaded, it already had the animation. Just look at that. Okay. I think it changed still design a little bit, like comparing to what we previously had. The colors are a little bit different. And overall, it feels like it used my design, but more as a suggestion rather than a design. Maybe it was because of the way I prompted it. So we will try to do the same, but asking it not to change the design. Enter your awesome name. URL to your coolest photo. It is interesting that now it is URL. I think it's because of the way I did in design. I didn't have like the button to edit. Uh, favorite song, Subway and favorite color. Oh, I can have a color picker, Submit. It has the confetti. That looks awesome. I like the way it did things and so many things are animated. I'm just like confused that it changed the design so much, but overall this experiment proves to be much more successful in terms of visual design and more fun interactions compared to what we were working in previous episode with complex B2B SaaS interface. Let's do the same with the simple screen. Also ask it not to change the design just to see how it would 
how would it work with that? It still changed the design. A new version is even more exciting because it has the stars on the background, which are exciting, but it I mean, it did change the visual like border thing, but overall input fields are the same. Let's just fill in. So I like how every time I enter this starts to change. And so my favorite color, orange. My favorite song, Subway. Great choice. I like that helper text. It's, it's awesome. And my picture, I would just write, I mean, my picture. Let's submit. Okay, definitely the previous version still nicer because of the interactions. One thing that we just learned is that it still will try to modify the design. If I think it's because there is no currently direct link that I can actually add the Figma design file to, to Figma make. It just takes it as a picture and then still tries to do something on top of it. That was a fun experiment. Now let's go to our second phase is trying to do all the same, but now using some more complex interface. Since I'm lazy, we will start with Figma Make. I will try to recreate it. You know the drill. I also noticed that it has suggested prompt. Create a personal productivity dashboard with weather, calendar, and desk widgets. I like it. Let's go for it. Excuse me. It created a very nice personal dashboard. It thinks I'm in San Francisco. Okay, we have calendar. I have some upcoming events and I can even work on my desks. I think I like it and now I will copy it. Let's go and remake the same thing, but using the design system. I think I just noticed that it also copied design directly from Figma Mac with a lot of, uh, well, say errors. Also, I noticed that it does use auto layout, but still then it, it also uses frames a lot. And I think this is what makes it so challenging um, that it just cannot adapt, you see, right? It, because it's in the frame. If it would set to be another frame, but after the out and just hug the content, that wouldn't look the way it is. So that's definitely something to, to, to keep, to be mindful of. I think I recreated the personal dashboard. Now we can copy this as a picture and go back to Figma Make. And I think what I will do this time is actually, I will just ask it to make a fun prototype without preserving the design. I still just want to make sure that it can work even with a little bit more details on the screen. It might be not the most complex thing, but still let's try. It's something more complex definitely to the form that we previously had. Um, It created the prototype. It definitely removed all the colors from the, well, from the weather. I like that it added the progress. I think overall it's nice. Let's ask it for all the things that you just suggested. Let's ask about the drag and drop, include more widget types and add dark mode toggle. It definitely works not the way I would expect with ready designs because it changes the colors, the feel, some other things. I'm also wondering what will happen if I add the same screen, but actually add the design system. Maybe this is why I cannot redo it. We will try that again. I just, I just recognize that we can try to do that. We have new version. Maybe it could move these cards up a little bit, not create these empty spots. Now I can reorganize the tasks as it promised. We also have the dark mode, dark mode looks cool. I think it should play music, it doesn't, but it kind of shows us how the music would play, but that would be so annoying if you would constantly have this animation when music plays. So we have quick notes with possibility to remove those and we have some quick links. Overall, it looks very nice and let's do the same with the screen we previously had, but I will add the library. I added the same screen as we previously had. I am asking it to please make a prototype, make it fun, and we will select the Reddix themes library. Maybe this time we will give more chances for Figma Make to recreate this design without changing visuals too much. I think it definitely looks 
more like the design. I think adding the design system helped it a lot. It's following the design guidelines slightly better. I mean, we might just lost a lot of fun that it would probably add to this. I do think that it used at least design system colors and fonts. Given these restrictions, definitely makes it not so fun. Comparing it to, for example, this personal page as a creative without any visual design input, we will go back to Figma Make for our third experiment. And I will use some prompt, we will use some suggested prompts, create a bottom that generates floating particles around the cursor on the hover. We will ask it to be inspired by some treble shot, this picture from Lucian Radu, let's just copy image. Please be inspired by picture attached. I'm fully right now aware that I'm using the work of other designers. I only want to see the limitations and possibilities of Figma Make. We have the floating particles button. Right now, it looks just like the orange button. Let's hover. Oh, that's it. I think what it took, it took colors from that picture, right? I was somehow expecting that it would add more ducks to design, make particles as ducks. Let's ask it explicitly. Let's see right now how this orange button may be updated. It says that it added emojis for the effect. Let's hover the button. It looks like it didn't really take into the consideration of the proposed picture. I mean, I think it's nice. It means that we are not stealing some work from some other person. At the same time, it feels like it still relies on putting prompts more than on the visuals that I am suggesting. And here's where I think we should do our last and final experiment. Since it relies on to prompts much more than even the visual part I'm providing. I want to do some very clumsy wireform sketching and just add to it and ask it to do whatever it can with it. And we are going to Figma Wake one last time. My idea was that what if we had some sort of meeting and we were just scrambling some ideas and this is what we end up with create a design from it, give absolutely nothing for the system. Let's just see what it thinks it actually is and how it will make the design from basically nothing and with the only prompt, create a design from it. It says that it reminded task management application based on this picture. So we have my tasks, I can close it. It's removing all the previous tasks. That's not a motto and that's a clear button. I can add new tasks. I can set them as done. I can edit those. Let's set up the two as completed and view stats. I have two tasks remaining. Okay. I mean, it's still, it got so much from such a picture, which basically tells you absolutely nothing. And our prompt gives zero context and we are only asking, please make a design. That was a very fun experiment, but I think the best ones are when we go back to Figma Make and when we just ask it whatever without providing basically anything. So if you go to Figma Make, right, and just do suggest a prompt and maybe give like a zero visual approach, I'm still trying to understand better how AI works. Still, the most important thing is the prompting. It, it, it cannot read my mind, which is an absolutely shocking observation and conclusion to our Figma Mix series. I really enjoyed that. I think this series, the second part of it, is definitely better at understanding how Figma Make works. It's definitely not replacing designers anytime soon. You have to think about so many things. You have to specify so many things. And overall, I think that is a very interesting experiment that we had with Figma Make. And it's a definitely nice partner in crime if you want to do some brainstorming or if you want to have some cool small ideas for animations, for interactions. The bigger task you have, the bigger canvas you have, the more you will have to divide it by these little things and create a very nice prompts for the system to understand what you need for you then to be the person that kind of connects it all together. At the end of the day, artificial intelligence, is, it is just a tool and it cannot read our minds. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, 
suggestions to which tool you would like to see next. And also let me know which experiments of today's was your favorite. Mine probably was this first scene being 2000s inspired, this like profile. That was fun. And I like all the animations. Anyway, see ya next time. Bye.